What's up, y'all? I'm Mears One, curator of Five Points Long Island City, the largest aerosol art building in the entire United States, quite possibly the world. The building is five industrial floors high. It spans an entire city block. It's 200,000 square feet. Um, and we get artists pretty much from everywhere, all over the United States, all over the world, that come and grace our walls. Personally, it's been around, you know, for all time. You know, it's it's the art of expression. It's it's taking, it's you know, saying you were here, like letting people know that you exist. Uh, it's stating your, you know, your feelings. Um, from cavemen writing on the walls, claiming the cave, you know, to uh, lovers writing in, initials in the tree, to a person writing, you know. Whatever was here, Taki 187 was here on a poster. It's uh, it's letting people know that you 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 know you were there, you served uh, in that point of time. Um, and and aerosol art, you know what we do today is like the same exact thing, a little more in depth though. You know, it's some of it's political, some of it is just. The, the rush to, to, to get your name up and to be able to look at it. Um, I've been uh, here at Five Points now, eight years in Long Island City. I've seen the, uh, the neighborhood take a change since I've been here um, and uh, it seems to be that the direction that they're trying to build it is like uh, is upward it's sort of like a Manhattan um, Long Island City itself has a lot of soul and a lot of uh, flavor to it uh, Vernon Boulevard is a lot of mom and pop type of uh, businesses and you know a lot of brownstones in the neighborhood and, and it's cool it gives it its heart the fact that they're building these uh, condominiums, uh, it kind of, it's kind of taking that energy and that heart out of the neighborhood and uh, turning it sort of like into Manhattan.